math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says simplify 25x to the fourth y to the third z over 5xyz. So in this case, we're simplifying this expression. And in order to do that, we have to know one of the laws of exponents, notably the quotient rule, which says this. If you have a to the m over a to the n, that's equal to a to the m minus n. If the exponent is positive, it goes in the numerator. If it's negative, it goes in the denominator and you make the exponent positive. So let's get started. 25 divided by five is five. Now, x, y, z, technically x is raised to the first power, y is raised to the first power, and z is also raised to the first power. Generally speaking, if something's raised to the first power, you do not write the one there in algebra. So let's get started with x to the fourth over x to the first. Again, we have x to the fourth over x to the first. According to the quotient rule, what are we going to do? We're going to subtract our exponents. This is 4 minus 1. Uh, this becomes x to the third. Again, our exponent's positive, so it's going to go up here in our numerator. Let's do our y's now. We have y to the third over y to the first. What does our quotient rule say? It says to subtract your exponents. So this is y to the 3 minus 1, which is y squared. So this is y squared here. Now let's look at our z's. Again, this is not raised to any power, so we assume it's raised to the first power. We have z to the first power over z to the first power. According to the quotient rule, that's going to be z to the 1 minus 1, which is z to the 0. Anything raised to the 0 power is just 1. So we could do times 1 here, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to include that because all of this times 1 is just itself, so we do not have to write that 1 there. You can see our answer is 5x to the third y squared, which is answer choice B, of course.